Vsauce. Happy almost Halloween. To celebrate, I'm going to show you my top six favorite Flash games to get me into the Halloween spirit. And you can play them too. I've got links in the description. So, without further ado, let's turn down the lights and get started. At number six, I've got The Cell. In this game, you have to find items and come up with creative ways to use them to progress. What's super creepy about the game, though, isn't just the location and ambient noise, but the fact that your character only speaks backwards, and whenever you get a phone call, it sounds like this. Jackson, free, get to sell by, please, in Number five. These next few games are point-and-click games, mostly ones where you have to find a way to escape. First, the house horror. This one is really mysterious. You fumble around, clicking on different things, seeing what happens, and hoping to make sense of all the strange clues. For instance, clicking certain people in this creepy drawing causes things to momentarily change. The only thing that's really clear right off the bat is that something very terrible happened here. Number four, Ex Mortis. This point and click also puts you in a terrifying house, one that you find yourself in after waking up for reasons unknown in the middle of the woods. The artwork and music are super creepy and it's fun to poke around. Hmm, nothing in the cabinets, but what about this microwave dripping blood? L let me just open it real quick. The same guy behind Ex Mortis also made number three, Purgatorium. This game is about figuring out how to escape from a room while also learning about the dark event that occurred in it. As always, be sure to look really closely. At number two, we leave the point-and-click adventures for Bright in the Screen. What's creepy about this online game is the fact that you learn the rules as you play, and usually only moments before it's too late. You have to avoid the crazy red guys and click black boxes to see what lies beyond. If you don't, you might be surprised by what's there or not there. And at number one is a game I'm really impressed by, Closure. In this game, the playing space is completely dark except for the light coming from a globe you carry around. The artwork is fantastic and really twisted, great for playing in the dark. But here's what's super cool, anything not touched by your light doesn't exist. You can use this to your advantage and hop through walls or fall through floors that the light made real. So there you go. Six online flash games to put you in the Halloween spirit that you can play right now for free in your browser. Go ahead, the links are in the description, play them. In the meantime, leave a comment below about what you are going to dress as for Halloween. Don't tell anyone, because it's kind of a secret, but me, personally, I think I'm gonna go as Wheezy Waiter. As always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe for more, and I'll see you later.